Hi, welcome back. Today I'm looking at a Google Chrome add-in and it's called Spellbee. It's totally free and it auto corrects your spelling as you're using it on Google Chrome. It's excellent, saves you time and above all it's free which is always great. So let's try it out. So open up Google Chrome and let's download it from the Google Chrome store. Type in Spellbee. Select the option for Chrome Web Store and select Add to Chrome and then Add Extension and there it's done, Added to Chrome, we now close that window and you can see the icon on the top right hand corner currently it's indicated you can see with a cross so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close Google Chrome and reopen it and you can see it's now ready to go so before we start typing in let me go up to the little B icon and do a left click and select options. Wait for it to load your autocorrect words in your vocabulary list. If I scroll down you can see there's many words already in there. And if I go to the top, if you want to edit one for example today and you'll replace today with the correct spinning today, click the edit button and then you can change that if you need to and click it again to save it. Also, click the little arrow to bring you back out. If you want to delete them, select the delete option there, the little X. You can also search for words. So let's have a little look. How about commission with one M? And see what we get. And there we go. You can see if I spell commission with one M, it will give me the correct spelling with double M there. Now you can add to your vocabulary as I said, so I'm going to add hello. So say you spelt hello that way and the only times you do it, you keep spelling it that way so we can now add that to your vocabulary list so what you do is I always put it in first to check if it or not it exists and you can see no matching records found so I'm going to copy that copy and that will be my typo my incorrect spelling and then I'm going to replace it with the correct spelling of hello so I've got the typo error and the correct spelling and now I'm going to select add to the right and it's now added you can see above every time I spell hello wrong incorrectly it will be spelled correctly the correct spelling I'm going to go down to the next option URLs which is website links do not work correct on the following URLs so for example let me come up here there might be a certain website you go on that you don't want auto correct to be done on it could be where you're adding code in or numbers or it could be you're filling in forms so I'll just use any site for an example so I'm just going to use Wikipedia and choose any link. So say you, you want to type in certain information in here, but you don't want it to autocorrect for you. You could be typing in for something, could be code, Latin, anything. Now see the link there, copy it, right click and copy or control C. Go back to spell B options. And you see on the list here, we've got do not autocorrect on the following URLs. So if I now control V that in, I'll right click and paste. I can now add that to my list. So now every time I come across that website, it would then not autocorrect. And the same goes for the option here. If you select autocorrect only, you can select certain websites whitelisted that you want to use autocorrect only on. So it gives you total control on what websites you want to autocorrect on. Scroll down, you can decide if you want to auto capitalize a character after these characters here. So for example, you might want to add another one there. Every time I do a colon, it will capitalize the next character afterwards when you're typing. We've also got pause or unpause extension using Alt plus S. Now that can be used for a website, but it only does it temporary and lasts only the next time you refresh or unpause. So when you refresh the page, you come and go back to it, it's not going to be, it's not going to be paused again. So that's why you can use the option up here to do not auto correct if you don't want to okay so that's all plus s if you found a bug or anything email them and you can export your settings because remember as you're adding words at the top here you'll be building up your own vocabulary of words and autocorrect words so you can export them and import them so definitely worth looking at that so I've added one word there so we we'll see if that's working shall we so I'm now going up the top here I'm going to select the spell B icon to turn it back on and you can see it's selected here as enable on the site. You can also select that to disable it manually there if need be as well. Click a new tab. And there you go.
can see it so it's auto corrected there for me so really a handy option when you're on the internet a nice simple add-on you can get that from the Google Chrome store totally free and it helps you when you're online with your spendings thanks for watching